Many workers in Uganda and world over, especially women, are still facing labor violation and harassment at their workplaces, a thing that has forced women of industrial or global union to speak out. The ILO uh, Convention uh, 190, uh, it was passed uh, two years ago in 2019, June, whereby the three tripartite partners came together in Geneva and they discussed and adopted this convention to ensure that we stop the harassment and violence in the world of work. Many times these violations go unnoticed, leaving the culprits to walk away with no legal implications. This trend of events has encouraged this negative vice to grow, especially in industries. Women are not allowed to, to produce in some of the factories in Uganda. And yet the present labor force were produced by some people. So what do you expect in the future? So some of these things is going to help the, the rights of the workers. And if the government ratifies Convention 190, there is always a better working environment for the young people and there, is, there will be improvement actually within the working space of the young people. However, since 2020, the Ministry of Labor, Gender and Social Development is in the process of ratifying the International Labor Organization Convention 190 that condemns violence and harassment at workplaces. To carry is the responsibility of making sure that its laws are adjusted to be in conformity with the convention. So that's what makes ratification very, very important. Lack of stringent accountability and lack of violence and harassment reporting avenues have left many workers at the mercy of their abusers. As Uganda waits to ratify the convention, it is prudent that more concerns are given to violence and harassment crime at the workplace by law enforcers.